Hey comrade, let's address the issue of why Sigma males struggle to make friends. I know it is a thing of pride for some men because they think it is a badge of value for them to have very few friends. How true is this? Are Sigma males just ego tripping, or there are some good reasons why this happens? I say it as it is, so in this video expect me to say the bitter truth, but Sigma men don't mind the truth even if it is not comfortable, so that should be no problem right? Before we get into it, why not subscribe to the channel? This is where we say it as it is, and this is the home of maestros, where men up their game. Number 1. Sigmas have no problem backing out. Sigma men are called Lone Rangers for a reason. They are ready to journey alone if they cannot get the qualities they are looking for in a relationship. No one is too important. What matters to Sigma men are the facts of the relationship. It does not matter who you are. The moment a Sigma male has reasons to move on, he would do it. These men would not stay in a relationship where there is abuse, disrespect, and exploitation. Life is a journey, and just like any journey, it's essential to navigate it with a sense of purpose and direction. Each person you allow into your life should contribute positively to your growth, happiness, and well-being. Holding on to a toxic relationship or trying to force a friendship that's not genuine is like carrying unnecessary baggage on your expedition. It slows you down, hinders your progress, and ultimately prevents you from reaching your destination. Sigma men are super sensitive to carrying the excess baggage. That is exactly what some so-called friends are. They are just there to weigh you down, my son. They are always taking and never giving back. By stepping away from such relationships, you're not running away from commitment or responsibility. Instead, you're bravely prioritizing your own growth and happiness, showing the world that you deserve nothing less than genuine love, respect, and support. Number 2. Making friends means pleasing people. My young friend, do you understand what it takes to please people? It is impossible. People would never be pleased enough. Give them 10 minutes of your life every day, and suddenly it would not be enough. Having lots of friends is actually a full-time job, and who has that time to spare? Surely not Sigma men. Listen up, young buck. Having a lot of friends might look shiny from a distance, but let me tell you, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Sure, pleasing people seems like a swell way to reel in friendships, but let me clue you in on a secret. Folks are harder to please than a cat at a dog show. You're bending over backward, stretching your patience and sanity, all for the sake of fitting into some social mold. It's like trying to wrangle a dozen unruly horses. You might keep them in line for a while, but sooner or later, they'll break free and you'll be left in the dust. Sigma men know this all too well and do themselves a lot of good by not trying to please anyone in the first place. Don't get me wrong, forging connections is vital in this world. But there's a thin line between genuine comrades and putting on a facade just to rack up some friendship points. Let me tell you, son, if you're spending your precious hours trying to dance to other people's tunes, you're squandering the only resource you can't ever replenish. Time. Time is a crafty beast. It'll slip through your fingers faster than you can blink and you'll look back wondering where all those moments went. And for what? To keep up appearances, to gather a crowd that doesn't truly know the real you. Now, I ain't saying you should shut yourself off from the world. Nah, that's a shortcut to loneliness, and I've seen enough of that to last me 10 lifetimes. What I'm saying is, be yourself, unapologetically, unreservedly, and without a hint of pretense. The real ones, the friends worth having, they'll see you for who you are and stick around through thick and thin. See, son, it's like sorting through a bin of rocks to find those few precious gems. You'll have to dig, get your hands dirty, and sift through the rubble. But when you find those gems, those kindred spirits who get you without you having to spell it out, that's when you'll realize that all that time spent trying to please everyone was just a fool's errand. Number 3. Sigma men are intimidating. Sigma men have few friends, sometimes not because they chose to. 
It is not because they're arrogant or snobbish. No, it's because most folks out there, truth be told, are plain intimidated by them. Think about it. The average Joe or Jane isn't used to being around someone who's got their mental faculties firing on all cylinders. When you start unraveling complex ideas and challenging norms, it can make them feel small, inadequate even. It's like showing a candle to a flashlight. The candle might flicker, but it won't match up to that powerful beam. You've probably noticed it already. You start a conversation about the universe's mysteries, the intricate workings of the human mind, or the intricate strategies of the political landscape, and suddenly you see eyes glazing over or folks shifting uncomfortably. They're not used to having their comfort zones shaken like that. And what do they do? They pull away. But here's the kicker. It's not your fault. And it's not a reason to dull your shine. It's a natural reaction from those who might not have the same depth of understanding or the same hunger for knowledge that you do. You've got to respect that. As frustrating as it might be, just remember, it's not about you being unlikable. It's about them feeling a bit out of their depth. So, young blood, here's the pep talk. Embrace your astuteness. Wear it like a badge of honor, but also wear it with humility. Understand that not everyone is cut from the same cloth as you, and that's okay. Seek out those who appreciate your brilliance and who enjoy the challenge of keeping up with you. Quality over quantity, my friend. It's better to have a few true companions who truly get you than a crowd of folks who just stick around because it's comfortable. Number 4. Sigma Men Hate Drama Drama and emotional stress are all part of the package of having lots of friends. Most people have accepted this and even indulge in throwing up tantrums. But Sigma Men, my boy, are different. They've grasped a crucial truth the value of tranquility in a world that's often fraught with chaos. These men have come to understand that their energy is precious, and they refuse to squander it on trivial disputes and petty squabbles. They've seen the futility of getting embroiled in every storm that comes their way, and they choose to preserve their sanity instead. Now, don't mistake this for isolation or an inability to connect. Sigma men can connect deeply and meaningfully, but they choose their company wisely. They seek out individuals who share their values and enrich their lives rather than drain them. If you bring a lot of drama into your friendship with a Sigma male, he is likely to cut you off. Number 5. They don't know how to play nice. Sigma men. The ones who refuse to sugarcoat reality. They walk a different road. A road that's often lonelier, but make no mistake. It's also one that's far more rewarding in the long run. You see, those who dare to speak the truth, even when it stings, they're not here to play the popularity game. They're here to shake things up, challenge the status quo, and expose the illusions that others are content to live in. But here's the thing, my dear friend, when you choose to speak the truth, when you hold that mirror up to society's face, not everyone is going to like what they see. People don't always want to hear the cold, hard facts. They'd much rather live in comfortable delusions, in pretty little lies that help them sleep at night. So when you march to the beat of your own drum, when you call out the hypocrisy, when you expose the lies, you'll find that some will distance themselves from you. They'll label you as harsh, insensitive, even arrogant. You'll be a thorn in their side, a constant reminder that their facade is nothing more than smoke and mirrors. Sure, you might not have a mile-long list of buddies, and your social calendar might not be overflowing, but you'll have something far more precious, a circle of true friends who respect you, who trust you, and who turn to you when they need an honest perspective. Number 6. Trust is expensive. You see, in this world, trust is a precious commodity. It ain't handed out like candy on Halloween. It's earned, brick by brick, over time. Sigma men, the ones who've weathered storms and navigated through treacherous waters, they understand this better than most. They've been burned before, oh, more times than they can count, by folks who smiled to their faces and twisted daggers behind their backs. And that's why they're cautious. They don't jump into friendships with open arms and blind trust. 
They've learned that not everyone who approaches them comes with good intentions. These men have seen fair-weather friends vanish when the clouds roll in, leaving them to face the thunder alone. So, forgive them if they take their time sizing you up and if they test your loyalty and commitment. Sigma men have honed their intuition like a finely tuned instrument. They can spot a charlatan from a mile away, and they won't let themselves be led down a garden path of false promises. They've walked through the fire and emerged stronger, scared, but wiser. Friends are going to be one of the most important things you ever get in life. It makes sense to take this seriously. Remember to share your comments. I'll be reading them. If you enjoyed this video, like this video and watch this one as well. Thanks for watching.